this is a cool little trailer. We got it for free. It's a really cool uh, little trailer. Probably needs a new paint job and stuff. It's flaking. But it's got a, a dump on it. Manual dump, which is pretty cool. And little seats. Pull uh, little kids around with them. It's cool. Well, this tire was good, but hey, you don't touch that. You don't need the new tire. This tire, uh, the sidewall is just completely busted. There you go. I'll try changing it without the tools. After putting it in for three years, it's guaranteed to grow at least nine percent. Honestly, I'm thinking about an orchard. Well, grow, hey. growing apple trees here. or a vineyard even. Let's go have a, a vineyard. Oh. Grapes. Yeah. All six hundred trees would cost me a lot. Like we're talking More thousands of dollars. Yeah. Fencing would be a lot, and then well, unless you mill. Jag. I'll go get him. I'm just holding him in my arms. Okay. <laughs> This vice grip really helps. Put it right at the valve so you're not scooping it with your crowbar. Keep working your way around. There's on. The bead. So with air, it should set. You can check it. Do you know how to use this? Screw this onto the valve, make yeah. sure there's no snow. I just know, know the, then pump, the pump. Press, pump. press air and air twice and it'll it'll pump. I put it to what? We're looking for five PSI. So it'd be awesome. Yeah. You can even advertise it on the highway. Uh, what? Advertise it on the highway. Let's take the garbage out first. This thing's leaking coolant. I don't know from where yet. 
but very low. So we'll just add some in. the battery is this morning. These pull cords are so handy. I brought the trash out and I left it sit for a bit so we drove it and there was no uh, no coolant leak then uh, I did a bit of research and I think I don't think I have circulation in the
see if this, we'll put this back together and see if it still leaks. She's all topped off. I'll keep an eye on it, but it's not leaking. And if it starts to leak again, then it was leaking out of what it seemed like the radiator. It was all dripping down here, so it wasn't the, the water pump or anything. This trailer is going to be handy. I'm going to paint it again and Thank God I got another tire for it. I have to make a gate for this. You know what, let's do that right now. Let's see what we got in the pile of steel. That's oh, cut on an angle. Oh, that was for my uh, wood stove backing. I mean, that side would have been perfect, but here, short. for 10 inches. We don't have it with that. 10 inches. Let's say 44 and a quarter. Finally found a sheet, sheet that will fit. A little thinner than I wanted, but...
Now I'm 44 and I have to Weld a piece of angle iron on the inside of these tracks to this, and we'll see what that does. Should be a lot better just with that, but worst case, I'll do one on the top too. Forty-three. it into place so we'll just see how it fits before we fully weld it. But this will be perfect. That's all you need. I'll just grind down this edge, weld this. I'm not gonna fully weld it, just gonna do some stitch stitch welds. That'll be perfect little game. Everything's been deburred, smoothened out. This is a perfect little gate. I didn't want to make it too heavy, so just that one little piece of angle iron is perfect. You know, I rounded off all the edges, all the corners. No one can get hurt on that. Not bad for a free buggy, a bush buggy. I guess it's oil based so it doesn't freeze. I don't know how well it's gonna cure in the low freezing, but. All right, well that's it for uh, this trailer and the four wheeler for now. We'll keep an eye on the coolant, that's it.